What did I do to deserve this? So we all remember 2020, right? I mean, some of us really don't because we either napped or drank our way through it or chose to forget about it because... I don't remember why. Suffice to say, it was bad enough, but just to add insult to injury, that is also the year that saw the release of Bigfoot vs. the Illuminati from Ruthless Studios and writer-director BC14, all of whom gave us a double whammy that year by also releasing Trump vs. the Illuminati. If you've seen that nightmare, then you probably don't have enough brain cells left to even comprehend this review, so let's just roll the tape. Wait. Now roll the tape. The year is 4040, and Earth has been drained of all natural resources, so the remaining humans, many of which are just clones of random famous humans from history, fictional and otherwise, are now just kind of roaming space, I guess? Meanwhile, the Illuminati, made up of a reptilian species called the Archon, are in a now 2,000-year-old war with the remaining humans. And apparently, most of the people on Earth left their lights on before abandoning everything they knew. Nice to see the power grid is still working after 2,000 years. The Illuminati army is being led by an Archon named Wrathchild. I think that's what his name is. That's what we're calling him. And they have summoned back Aleister Crowley. Yes, I'm assuming that one. And he has not aged well. Probably because he's dead. Good thing we've got this well-delivered humor to keep us going. I haven't had a blowjob in 3,000 years! And who's going to suck my dick with me looking like this? Considering the animators can't move your mouth very much, the only way that is going to happen is if you have a really small di- Oh, I'm so sorry. You're probably real sensitive about that, aren't you? It turns out Crowley, not that Crowley, never was fully human, but was always a part of the Archon, and therefore Crowley was part of the Illuminati all along? There's a plot twist. Crowley is apparently so horny and making everything a double entendre so much that Rothschild is having a hard time, pun fully intended, updating him on the war as it currently stands. I should have resurrected Genghis Khan instead. Yeah, cause that guy was a notorious prude. Meanwhile, Van Helsing walks in. Van Helsing? What the f- Moving on. Van Helsing walks in, but don't worry. He's not the real Van Helsing. I found out I was created in a lab using the preserved DNA of the original Jack Van Helsing. That's interesting, considering the quote-unquote real Van Helsing's first name was Abraham. There is a Jack Van Helsing in the sci-fi series Van Helsing, but it's short for Jacqueline, so what are these writers smoking? Basically, the Archon are still kicking humankind's ass because they have better weapons and equipment, even if it is kind of small, and they also have dark alchemy. Now they find out the Archons are transporting powerful bombs that could destroy two-thirds of the galaxy. A robot known as the Exterminator, however, may know where the Archons are going with these bombs for reasons. So, wait. Now, Van Helsing and Dr. Jekyll are arguing about sex. What is even going on? Wait, I've got it. You set horny Dr. Jekyll up with horny Aleister Crowley to distract him while Van Helsing goes in and destroys the Illuminati. There's a sentence I never expected to ever say in my entire life. Hmm. Interesting. Meanwhile, the Illuminati is praying because at this point, why not? Considering we don't take the time to learn historical characters' first names, fictional or otherwise, they might be praying to the Christian God, or perhaps the son of the Christian God, Michael C. Christ. No, God! Shut up, Michael. No, God, please, no! No! Shut up, Michael Scott. Van Helsing, now going by VH, asks the exterminator about the bombs. Why don't you come into my cell so I can render your swiney flesh from the brittle porous bone and paint a masterpiece on my wall with your blood? Basically, he says no. VH and Callie flirt. At least I'm pretty sure this is what the movie considers flirting. VH suggests they recruit an old friend of his to join the Allies, and of course, it's Bigfoot. The Allies, huh? So you got some firepower behind you. Okay, I'm me. Bigfoot, I'd like to take you to our command center and brief you on our progress to date against the Archons. I bet that actor never expected to ever have to say that sentence either. Crowley suggests they awaken the sun god, Roth. 
because again, why not? Meanwhile, the allies try to run some tests on Bigfoot. How about I just spit on your broken, bloody corpse after I smash the shit out of this room with a baseball bat shaped like you? Basically, he says no. Dr. Jekyll introduces the Teleport Chip 5000. It allows any computerized data to be uploaded directly to the brain or the physical body to be teleported anywhere in the universe with a traceable signal. With the Teleport Chip 5000, we can hack into the Archon mainframes without need for workarounds. It also steams vegetables and fills out your tax forms while picking out your outfit for the day. We just got more bad news, VH. The exterminator has escaped. Oh, that's gonna come back to bite us on the ass. At the very least, with a robot named the Exterminator. The Exterminator is now flying a fighter ship, and the Archon wind up in a conference call with him somehow. Bigfoot takes a ship out because he's apparently claustrophobic in the big ship, so he gets in a smaller ship. Whatever. Now Bigfoot and the Exterminator are conference calling and they challenge each other to a fight and now the main ally ship is being attacked and... 1984 code, it wants its Terminator back. In over 2,000 years, that's the best you've got. Well, I mean, I guess you are Bigfoot, obviously you don't get out very much, so... VH gets into a fighter ship to fight. Just get your ass here back in one piece, and I'll show you how much I like you. In no uncertain terms. That is going to be the most awkward animated sex scene in history, isn't it? Somehow, Bigfoot winds up on the Illuminati ship. No real explanation how? Is this like that hot yoga shit, or...? Also, for no reason, the Archon retreat. For now. Return to headquarters. I want to fuck your brains out. Oh no. Bigfoot proceeds to have a chat with Nubus. Oh no, don't ask. Just stop trying. Look, I don't know what I'm doing here. Some Alistair dude sent me, told me to ask you to grant the Arkans victory in their war against the Allies. But man, I'm with the Allies, so I can't do that. But you kind of just did. I mean, whatever, move on. Dr. Jekyll is trying to inject the Teleport 5000 chip into VH. Are there any negative side effects I might experience with the chip? One unintended side effect may be enhanced sexual prowess. So this is what the actors and director all think enhanced prowess sounds like. Okay. Somehow during the <clears throat> encounter, VH summons Ra. But now Wrathchild is on the ally ship and Bigfoot is back somehow and fuck, I give up. Yada, 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 the end. So why is this film in the dumpster? For fans of Trump vs. the Illuminati, you'll recognize several recycled shots from that movie in this one. It's animated! How low does your budget have to be that you're recycling animated shots? It's not even good animation. Most of the physical movements are nonsensical with what is being said. There seems to be a ghost in the machine. Some programming bug. But that sets the hardware to destroy and dials the intensity up to 11. And I'm quite frankly exhausted just thinking about all the other issues with this film, but... I'll try. We have bad acting. A writer-director with a questionable reputation. Nonsensical storyline. Terrible humor delivered with terrible comedic timing. Muddled dialogue. Random character appearances. Oh, apparently Stalin was in this at some point, by the way. Nonsensical publicizing. And did I mention it's called Bigfoot versus the Illuminati? I still don't think I've named all the problems with this film, but you know, if... This has not convinced you that you should not try to watch this alone and sober, then nothing will. Speaking of sober, uh, I'm leaving you now. Don't, don't watch this. Oh my god, seriously, don't. I warned you. Don't watch this. I'm a Sasquatch. Let's keep it loose, yeah? There is no bigger emergency than warning the world about Bigfoot versus the Illuminati. So calm down. Okay, there might be a couple of things, but... Yeah.